In this video I show you how I convert up some Gene Steeler Cult miniatures using parts from the Skaven range. Welcome back Bits Brood to another conversion video. This is another video where I convert up some Gene Steeler Cult miniatures for my kill team slash my Gene Steeler Cult army. This time I'm taking a couple of Skaven Warlord miniatures and I'm going to use pieces from them to convert up some miniatures for my Gene Sealer Cult. So I'm going to start off by doing an Acolyte Leader, and then I'm going to do an Aberrant Leader. So yeah, um, before I begin, if you are new here and you'd like to see more conversion videos, painting tutorials, battle reports, and many, many more videos covering a wide variety of games as well, then do hit that subscribe button, and you can also um, ring that bell icon so never miss a thing. And before we start as well, just a big shout out to all our Patreons who have been supporting this channel. Um, you guys have helped us really um, up the quality of these videos and hopefully you'll start seeing a lot more videos come out in the near future as well. And it's all thanks to them, so thank you so much. And if you are curious about what our Patreon is all about and what rewards we offer, then you can check out the link down below. So, let's just get straight into it. So our first conversion. It's going to use the Queek Headtaker miniature. Um, it's labelled as Skaven Warlord on the GW website but it used to be the Queek Headtaker miniature. Let's focus a little bit. So here I've just got the regular regular build for him, just his body. And I've chopped off his head. Because obviously we don't want a Skaven head on our Gene Stealer cult miniature, so we're gonna make an, we are going to make an Acolyte here. And I've got one of the Acolyte heads here, I've got the one with all the little tentacles coming out. I think mean, they look pretty cool. It'd make a, it's a good head for a leader. And essentially I'm just going to pop it on the neck, like so. That's sort of the best I can sort of get from it here. I may chop down this, actually I'm going to chop down this little top bit because I don't really like the look of that. That's like a bit of like Queek's collar. We don't need that so I'm going to chop that off. I apologise if my hands get in the way. Then we'll be able to put this head on just a little bit lower. So um, yeah I'll glue that on. I'll use super glue as this is a resin miniature. And then I'll be back. So here's what it looks like with the head on. Next up I'm going to add some arms to him. So I've just got like a hand flamer and then uh, these arms. I apologise for the camera that doesn't really focus too well. I bring the pieces forward. So for this arm, it's going to go on there like that. And you'll notice there is a bit of a gap. Uh, I'll fill that in with green stuff just to make it look like the arm sort of bass and out of out of him. Just remember with um with these they are mute they are essentially mutants aren't they so can have some really unusual looking um joins for the limbs and all sorts of stuff so they're a bit more forgiven in that sense. So yeah I'll get these glued on. I'll fill in the gap um a little bit later on. And here you can see what he looks like with his arms on. So he, I'm trying to focus a little bit better on oh, this camera, but he, um, yeah, it looks more like a Gene Steeler cultist. Now, now he's got his arms on with his head. And I quite like these sort of Skaven miniatures because they're sort of rat-like claw feet. Or clawed feet are really, work really well for Gene Steeler cultists. So if you want to make your Gene Steeler cultists look a little bit different, then some of the Skaven stuff might be worth looking at. So the last thing to do on here, and this is totally optional and I'm sure some people might hate this and some people might love it, but um, this massive trophy rack that Queek comes with, I just think it's too good to resist. Now, um, yeah, you might, you might not want that for yours, but I want this guy to sort of represent a leader. And yeah, that will make him stand out. So it's a bit overkill. But I quite like these old GW stuff. Um, if you don't choose to do this, there is a little hole in this back. You can fill up with green stuff. 
or you could put a little backpack on there or something. Whatever you wish. But yeah, I'm gonna put that on and we'll, I'll be back. And this is how he looks with that on. Um, a bit hard to get them all in shot, but there we go. So yeah, a bit overkill. I know some people might not like it, but uh, I quite like it, I suppose. It's different from what you'd normally expect from Gene Silicon Cult, I suppose. Um, just one final piece to add. And I'm going to put on a little knife. So, I can't remember what set's from, whether it's from one of the little Gene Silicon upgrade set or something, but. Little knife and a grenade there. Just to stick on him. I think it goes on that way. And we can put that on there. Just so he's got a little bit more um, Gene Steeler Cult style equipment. Now you might not want to have the rats on the base either, but I quite like them. Um, they're part of my kill team, so they're going to be fighting in the city, and there's probably a rat infestation or something going about. And yeah, so that's that. There, so all I'd need to do really is just fill in them little gaps where the arms go on and he would be done but yes yeah, as simple as that just a simple little um acolyte hybrid that's what they're called and yeah he'll represent a leader so next up i'm going to be converting an aberrant also using a skaven warlord set okay so here i have the body and legs from the Skaven Warlord. My thought process here is to chop off this top piece of body and then replace it with the aberrant body. So this is the, the body for the uh, leader of the aber aberrant squad, I can't remember the exact name. And yeah, hopefully I can sort of replace the top half in here with with that, so I think I may even just be able to get away with this with clippers if I just take away small pieces. So it's just a case, really, of just chopping small chunks off this until we get down to the desired bit. And of course, then um, <laughs> I don't mute my f didn't mute my phone. I've muted everything else. And I like, forgot to mute my phone. So yeah, I'm just chop down to sort of here, you can see it on the camera. So after a little bit of neatening up, this is essentially what we're left with. You could probably do a neater job than me, but for purposes of this video, this is what I've got. Now we have lost a bit of the tail from the rat, but it's actually sort of rounded off quite nicely, so I'll just keep it like that, I think. I quite like the little rat on here, so I might keep it on there as a little accessory. So next, I want to do something with this body, and I want this sort of upper bit here, and I'm going to use the hobby saw for this so I can get a nice straight cut. If you use your clippers, it sort of bends the plastic. So, for example, um, if I have a piece here, this is an arm that I've sort of cut off. So, if you sort of see, I don't know, well, you can see on the camera, you see how it's sort of bent at a point there. You don't want that on here. So, a hobby saw is a good way to go. And a bit hard to see on camera, but I'm going to chop it just down there like that. A bit hard to do without getting my hands in the way, I'm afraid, but yeah, we're going to just chop down there like so. And just be careful doing this. Um, take your time, and you'll get a nice straight cut. So here we have that bit of body, and I've also added the piece on the back. I did have to shorten it. A little bit as it got in the way, but I think it still looks pretty good. And yeah, the torso is maybe a little bit big, but um, you know, this is upper torso, which obviously would be bigger than his waist anyway, so I think it looks pretty good. You're not going to see a lot of where it joins up, but there's not really much in terms of gaps or anything. You could fill the little gaps if you really wish to. Um, Next, next things to do is I can just add the arms. So I'm just, I really like the like signpost arms. They're really cool. 
And of course I have a head as well. So I've got like this double head. Now these are just standard pieces that you can put on. And they'll fit this torso really well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And here we have them with those pieces in place. I just want to focus just a little bit more. There we go. So, yeah, I mean, I um, could leave them here. I just want to just add one little thing, maybe just like some little grenades or something just to his back there. I'm not really sure if Abrams really carry grenades or anything. I don't think the other models do. But as he's the leader, I thought we'll give him some. And it's just something else to put on that miniature. And it's turned out being more simple of a conversion than I thought first anticipated. I wasn't really sure where I was going to go with this when I started. I had a rough idea like what to do. But yeah, that's essentially it for him. I'm re really happy with how he's came out. Just makes him look a little bit different. Obviously, I feel like doing more conversion work, you could give him a different improvised weapon or something. Um, maybe something I'll look into in the future with other aberrant miniatures. And maybe do a little video on that. But yeah, that's just a short, short and sweet little video converting up a leader for my aberrant squad. Or just a, or he can just be used as an aberrant and kill team, which is probably what I'll use them for initially so yeah um i hope you have enjoyed this video i'll see you again very soon and please do let me know what you think in the comments and if you have suggestions for any other conversion videos then i would love to hear them so see you all again if you enjoyed this video then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already you can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out, and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.